This is our afternoon briefing for Tropical Storm Isaias, currently east of Georgia. Uh, this is uh, from our 1130 briefing. So Isaias is still a high-end tropical storm, uh, again, currently east of Georgia, tracking northward, expected to move through our area late today into tonight, and then lift north of the region early tomorrow morning. Tropical storm force winds are expected across the area, arriving late this afternoon to early evening and lasting into late overnight, early overnight hours. Uh, Life-threatening storm surge is possible along the immediate coast, especially south of Cape Fear, and we will see impacts from winds, flooding rain, and tornadoes. So currently, nothing has been changed with the watches and warnings. Uh, we have hurricane warnings along our coastal counties for Northeast South Carolina and Southeast North Carolina with tropical storm warnings inland with the exception of Marlboro and Darlington counties. Uh, storm surge warning is in effect for Brunswick, Ori, and Georgetown with the storm surge watch for Pender and New Hanover. And a flash flood watch remains in effect for the entire area through tomorrow. Tropical storm force winds are pretty much expected for a um, majority of our area, especially for the eastern parts. Uh, most likely arrival time, again, will be as early as late this afternoon to early evening for Northeast South Carolina, and then later this evening for Southeast North Carolina. The chance of damaging uh, strong tropical storm force winds around 50 knots is about 40 to 70% for much of the area especially along the coast and particularly the Northeast South Carolina coastline. There is a five to 10% chance of hurricane, for, hurricane force sustained winds along Northeast South Carolina into Western Brunswick County. Uh, there is a better chance for hurricane force gusts for the coastal areas uh, of our forecast warning area. So we have potential for sustained winds around 50 to 70 miles an hour near the coast with 20 to 40 mile an hour inland. The highest sustained winds currently are forecasted for the Northeast South Carolina area along the coast. Uh, can expect down trees, uh, fences and awnings uh, where the strongest winds occur. And we are expecting power outages uh, to be likely uh, with the strongest winds tonight. Peak wind gusts, uh, about 60 to 85 mile an hour, particularly near the coast with 30 to 50 mile an hour inland. Uh, the coastal areas have the greatest potential to see strong tropical storm force wind gusts and particularly the Northeast South Carolina coastline. Um, again, slight, slight changes to the track can impact the winds that we receive. Um, not much change to the storm total rainfall. We're still expecting uh, mostly four to six inches along the track of Isaias with isolated uh, higher amounts possible. Um, some localized flash flooding is possible within the heavier rain bands uh, and greatest potential is tonight with rain uh, beginning in earnest this afternoon, lasting into early tomorrow morning. Um, we do have minor river flooding forecasted over the next few days. Um, again, this is highly dependent on how much rain we get and where it falls. Currently, there are five river points in our area that is forecasted to go to minor flooding the next few days. Um, but again, it's highly dependent and we'll see how the forecast changes um, next couple of days. There is a 20 to 30% chance we might see uh, moderate flooding in a couple of our river points. There is potential for several tornadoes uh, this evening into early morning hours, especially east of from Lumberton to King Street Line. Uh, tornadoes can significantly damage homes, destroy mobile homes, and you know uproot trees. Again, the main hours we're concerned with is this evening, maybe around 6 p.m., lasting into uh, the around maybe 2 a.m. or early overnight hours. Um, there is an elevated to moderate storm surge threat along our coastline 
from Surf City south to the South Santee River. Uh, we're most concerned with areas south of Cape Fear, uh, Georgetown, Ori, and Brunswick counties. And there's increasing concern for the lower Cape Fear River at downtown Wilmington for this evening. High tide tonight is around 8.30 along the coastline south of Cape Fear and around 10.30 for downtown Wilmington. And so if peak surge occurs around that time, it's, uh, it's why we give a little bit more a little more concerned with uh, this evening's uh, coastal areas. Um, again, areas can also be uh, enhanced by breaking waves, especially along the barrier islands, and potential impacts, you know, flooding of coastal, coastal roads, any recent areas that have had um, any erosion impacts. Uh, and so again, that would be this evening, particularly around the time of high tide. Uh, this is the storm surge forecast from NHC, forecasting potentially three to five feet uh, for Georgetown, Ori, and Brunswick counties, with two to four feet for New Hanover and Pender coastlines for storm surge. And again, this is peak above ground values if the peak surge occurs at time of high tide. Again, we're the surge values are very uh, fluid, but we are still concerned with, particularly south of Cape Fear for this evening. Uh, for the marine, life-threatening rip currents are currently occurring at the beaches and expected to last through midweek. Uh, hazardous winds and seas are expected to develop this afternoon into this evening and last through early tomorrow. We have peak wave heights around 15 to 20 feet in our coastal waters with uh, around 10 feet closer to the coastline. Um, and we do expect these to improve by tomorrow night into Wednesday. Just a quick look at the five-day outlook um, for any recovery that might be needed or surveys. Uh, nothing, nothing outstanding for the next few days outside of typical summertime weather. Highs around 90, heat index around 100 degrees with afternoon scattered thunderstorms from Wednesday through Sunday. And again, strong rip currents will continue at our beaches likely through midweek. So here's just key takeaways. Uh, storm, tropical storm force winds expected uh, early this evening into tonight. Uh, storm surge inundation and beach erosion is likely, especially south of Cape Fear. Heavy rainfall and flash flooding is possible along with some tornadoes this evening into the overnight hours and hazardous marine conditions will develop later today into tonight. 